Hey, what's up everyone? This is Zarina with Zarina's Guides. I am also Blue Rain on my other social media sites like Instagram and um, well on TikTok, I'm Zarina Muhammad, which is my whole name. Anyways, this is a video about it's okay to be sad, but I do want to go ahead and send you guys over to my Etsy store if you like this video. Support my Etsy store site by checking it out and also letting people know about my book, It's Okay to Be Sad, which is available for sale on Amazon and also my Etsy store, Serena's Art, which is one word, no apostrophes. All right, so this video is supposed to be quick, so let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to share my screen here. It's going to be crazy for a second because it's going to be everything, but bear with me. So that's the whole screen. I saw a video um, meant to go over to, sorry, I wanted to go to this. So I saw this guy's video, Learn to Animate, um, which quick tip number 12. So basically it wasn't a quick tip. So it was, it seems quick, but two minutes, it wasn't quick to me. So <laughs> now I'm going to get into a long tip. All right. So here it is. If you can't see what's happening in your viewport, like if you do a grease pencil and when you go to view or when render, render image, or you go to render animation, if for some reason it doesn't show up, um, up, whatever. If it doesn't show up, then what you want to do, I'm trying to X out of this, doesn't want to stop apparently. Um, what you want to do is simply go to here, view, and view render or view animation. So that's the quick and nitty gritty of it. So <laughs> if you can see your animation or whatever, because of whatever reason, I don't know why it happens, but if it happens, you can just try that. Go to view, view render image, and view render animation, either one and you should be able to see what you were looking for. Here's my other tip, because this is gonna be three tips in one. So that was if you can't view your your renders. The other thing is, if for some reason, you want to uh, do some animation here. So let me clear up these keystrokes. So say you wanna do some animation, and you're like, I'm gonna draw a heart right here, and then I wanna add to it. Well, you might want to do that and you see how it's staying, but if you don't have this selected, then that won't work. So watch. And I mean, delete. So if I don't have that, whatever that's called, <laughs> we'll look and see what it's called again. But if I draw a little heart and then I move over, it disappears. So I was like, why is that happening? Do I have to keep copying over everything? No, you just have to turn on this snowflake, which is called come on what it's additive drawing so you're going to turn on additive drawing which is a snowflake symbol and when you do that when you move things stay so yeah that's another tip all right my third tip for people is actually is it my third yeah this is my third if you are trying to draw on a 3d object like this one um you might initially be off you might not be where you, where you want to be so basically say i'm right here and uh, I somehow my 3D cursor is over here or something, or I go like this. Well, it's not drawing on this surface. So if you want to draw on the surface of something, my other tip for you is simply to turn on right here, surface, and adjust your offset to around something like 0.010, maybe, maybe less, maybe more. Um, I found that worked. So... I'll do that, and now when I draw, it's on that face. And so I think also there was some other tip that I was supposed to talk about with drawing on the floor of things, but that works still, surface. So anyways, that's that's the quick tips for you guys. <laughs> I hope this helps somebody because uh, I was struggling. All right, so see you guys later. Bye.